founder and collector Mike Kavanagh purchased Borton's old mill and transformed it into the museum in the 70s. The museum is owned and run by the Civil Service Motoring Association. In 1978, or thereabouts, the old mill building in Borton on the Water um, came up for sale and they thought it would be a great uh, asset to showcase the history of motoring, which obviously reflected the, the association strongly as well. Um, since the beginning of uh, people having cars for, for leisure, the Cotswolds and actually Borton on the Water has always been on the, uh, the, the tourist map, so it is a very apt location for, for showing that history of people um, touring around. And we do have a, an area of the museum which shows or tries to illustrate how people took some camping equipment and, uh, and you know, their swimsuit in the back of the car and they would go off. Uh, perhaps with a caravan or definitely a picnic and, uh, and have a nice day in summertime. What does the museum offer the visitor? The museum goes over seven rooms. So it's much bigger actually than people perceive it to be from the outside. Uh, it goes back quite a lot further and it's jam-packed full of all kinds of uh, motoring memorabilia as well as 38 cars several motorbikes and bicycles, um, there's garage equipment and lots of enamel signs all over the walls, um, but also some social history um, there in there for good measure. Graham, what are your top exhibits? That is actually a really difficult question. Um, when they walk through the main uh, entrance into the first room, we've got the Bruff Superior motorcycle, and, and that's the big, very expensive, um, high-performance motorbike. It's like the Rolls Royce of motorbikes, really. So um, for any motorcycle enthusiast, that's definitely um, a highlight for them, I think. Um, and just near to that, there's the, one of the first Jaguars. Um, which was a coach-built body on an Austin 7 chassis, actually, but a really nice shape. Um, it's, it's like a posh version of the, uh, the very common Austin 7, and that, that's quite a nice, nice vehicle. Other highlights, we've got two very large wooden caravans, which really illustrate, again, that um, early exploration and, and, and holidaying. But um, to think of um, uh, trying to lug such a big thing around the Cotswold country lanes, uh, you know, makes you think uh, how adventurous people were and what it would really be like to go holidaying in those days. One of our star exhibits has always been Brum. He was filmed here, um, the opening and closing credits of the television programme which we show at the museum. He wakes up in the museum and he goes out from the museum uh, through the workshop for his adventure. And the person you see opening the, uh, the workshop door through which he escapes is the founder of the museum actually. Um, so, Brum's always been here from those days, and you can still come and see him. The, the Jack Lake Garage, as a, as a room, a whole entity, is, is a favourite part of the museum because it recreates uh, the garage in Borton on the Water, which was owned and run by Jack Lake for many years because he retired when he was in his 80s. Um, not very many decades ago. So we've got his counter and his desk and even his hat and coat um, to recreate that country garage scene that so many people depended on for, for a long time. The atmosphere created in the old mill seems just perfect for the exhibition. We um, definitely rely on a team of volunteers um, to help maintain the standard of the displays and uh, incidentally we could always do with some more uh, volunteers so obviously I'd say to anybody who, who might be interested uh, getting in touch with me. There's definitely something for everybody um, including the ladies I would say because there is a perception that you know it's just a man's thing but it's definitely not and, and it's not just me saying that because countless visitors who haven't been quite sure about it they go around and they always come out with a really positive reaction and say it was well worth it actually and that's the truth. <laughs> Well, 
All in all, the Cotswold Motoring Museum makes a truly fascinating journey through the 20th century.